When you think about the major transformations the world will see over the next decade, at the top of the transformation is the power of intelligent networks, the internet, if you will, that will bring to change every aspect of our lives, not just how we work or how we play, but change our health care, change how we live, uh, change job creation. When you think about these type of technology changes, it will not only drive innovation in every industry, it will also drive GDP growth and job creation and productivity. Our view is that we think the future will be built upon five foundational priorities around the network. The first is the infrastructure, those are routers and switches. Second is collaboration and how collaboration evolves into the cloud, which is one of the hottest technology areas given, and then how you combine video architected together to solve business needs. Whether those business opportunities are in healthcare or education or manufacturing uh, or any aspect of our lives. Hot areas in terms of the growth is the ability to bring expertise to the end user result, much like we've done before in terms of the Jordan Education Initiative and are now doing with the Jordan Health Initiative. Probably the most exciting thing that's happening in high tech, it's going to be any device to any content, and it's going to be video everything. Video will not just be the way that we communicate, it will be the way that we deliver IT or business transformation. It will allow for new business models. It will build upon what our young people understand from the social networking side. It will combine words like Twitter and Facebook and YouTube really to say how we do enterprise collaboration and a next generation of tools to enable this. Along with the video is mobility. Any device to any content over secure capabilities and networks completely a proliferation of all devices. And at work, it's bring your own device type of mentality. The third change that we see occurring is you'll see pinpoint products move to architectures, how you go from the cloud through the network into video, into voice, into any device access, and combine it in a way that really allows you to change your business models quickly or to change the way you interface to your citizens at a very, very rapid rate. When you think about how we as organizations and it, many of the organizations attending WEF can change things, uh, it's all about innovation, but it's innovation enabled by technology and operational excellence. About 10 years ago, we started on this jointly with WEF in terms of the Jordan Education Initiative, and we've learned what organizations can do working together to achieve a common goal. Most recently, Cisco's been heavily involved uh, with the leadership in Russia about how do you transform a industry's or a country's infrastructure in terms of business creation and many new industries, and how you take the capability and have the courage to move as the Russian leadership is doing in Skokovo and creativity around iPrize type of examples to capture the imagination of a country and then to build up a number of new innovative industries. Another example would be how we see partnering with global universities, universities around the world. It doesn't matter if it's a Duke or a Stanford uh, or the ability to what we saw occur in Virginia the other day where you had four universities come together with the government, governor of the state to say, given our budgets are going to be squeezed, how do we not only share our teachers in this collaborative type environment, how do we generate an incremental 100,000 degrees? The ability to say how technology transforms every aspect of our lives, I think, is the most basic thing we're going to see in the next decade. When you think about our ability to change the world and improve the world, I think the things that our young people have learned, you do this through collaboration, social networking, if you will, but you also do it by bringing together communities, often with different backgrounds, public-private partnerships, if you will, to not only achieve the goals of citizens or respond to an opportunity or a terrible challenge, but also to create jobs, to help fix the economies and get the global economic scenario back on the tracks that we all want to see for the future. It also has the capability to rethink how we do education or to rethink how we do public health care, like, again, we've done in Jordan, along with other World Economic uh, Forum members and the leadership within Jordan.